Hello there. Following Earth's inclusion into the galactic grouping and meeting all these new alien species, mankind has now been exposed to many different extraterrestrial diseases that humans have never encountered before, some of them with rather weird symptoms. So in this video, we will count down the top five weirdest alien diseases. So first on the list, in at number five, we have a disease that is caught by visiting the planet of Squidmopolis and making out with the sexy squid people that live there. Just look at them. Hello there! Cool. Can't say I blame you. So, if uh, you'd just be kind enough to give us a little smile there. <laughs> What's wrong? Got something in your teeth? So disease number five is squid teeth. All of your teeth fall out and are replaced with lovely slimy suckers. And to top it all off, you get a pretty bad case of fish breath. Next, and number four, we have, to give it its native Cangraxulan name, Blurgle Blurgle Schmark Blurg, which loosely translated stands for bitey hair. With this disease, you grow teeth instead of hair follicles all over your body. Hope you stocked up on toothpaste. What's wrong? Got something in your teeth? <laughs> Unfortunately, the only way to remove them is to pull them all out, one by one. So midway at number three, we have my personal favorite. If you've ever tried blue milk, there's a chance you might have caught this yourself. <laughs> Suckling chin. The infection causes the drinker to grow a beard of lactating teats on their chin. What's wrong? Have you got something in your teats? <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. But don't worry, the teats will shrivel up and fall off on their own after time. Just make sure you don't get a cold whilst you still have them. <coughs> Lovely. In at number two, we have. Would you be so kind as to lift up your shirt? Squeak. 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 Uh, screamy nips. This annoying little infection you'll pick up from- ah! Jesus! And finally, in at number one, the weirdest alien disease comes from the bite of a mimic moth. A bite from this moth will swell into a copy spot. If the spot is burst, it will force out the larva that will quickly grow, loosely mimicking the host's DNA. Mm. See the resemblance? Human but over time it will grow to look identical the host. Oh no, <laughs> looks like another mouth to feed. Oh, never mind. Uh, looks like you've got something in your teeth. Oh hey, <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just slowly being digested by this intestine. Thanks for watching the video. I just want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon for making this video possible. And uh, thanks to my newest two, Ben Bateson and Matthew Jones. If you fancy helping to support my videos and getting some perks in the process, then head on over to my Patreon page. It's okay, I'll wait. I'm not going anywhere.